All right, Mike McGlinchey, is he salvageable? They need to sign a, a right guard, in my opinion, and a center to salvage Mike McGlinchey. I think he definitely needs help. And if they can get Alex Mack there and get like a Mauler, like DJ Fluker or Rashawn Slater, or Elijah Vera Tucker in that right guard spot, that would help Mike McGlinchey. I don't know if he'll ever be the the 2018, 2019 one where there was a lot of potential around him, but if he can get back into the, the uh, slightly above average right tackle spot, that that's fine with me. As long as there's not catastrophic errors that lead to strip sacks and interceptions in the red zone, that's fine from a right tackle. He's a decent run blocker and he's pretty good in space, but if they can get a mauler next to him, that that would help him. I think. This has to be the last year that, you give Mike McGlinchey to put it all together. And if I'm not mistaken, they have to pick up his fifth year option soon, right? It's, yeah. That's yeah, pretty in soon the, in the coming yeah. weeks. Yeah. That's going to be interesting to follow along to, but there's still a lot of good with Mike McGlinchey's game. He grades out very well on PFF every year as a run blocker. And in 2019, it didn't seem like his pass protection was as glaring as it was in 2020. I know it wasn't great in 2019 either, but like Maverick said, just getting him to be back to a, slightly above average right tackle would be a win. And it's funny going back to that 2019 season, it was Mike Person, right? Wasn't that the right guard starting alongside of him? And, you know, the offensive line was good enough in 2019. So I do believe it's salvageable, but he really has to show that growth this season because the clock is ticking on him. He can be out of the NFL in the next couple of years if he doesn't improve as a pass blocker. I don't think it's salvageable. And I, I think the thing with him, the why, why he was serviceable in 2019 is because they were winning the whole season. And he is a good run blocker at what they do. He's a good zone blocker out in space. Uh, but he's not good in pass protection. He wasn't good in pass protection at Notre Dame. He was not good in pass protection at any point with the Niners. And now what really alarms me is that is his weight. I mean, he's he admitted he was below 290. He's six foot eight. That is way too light. Uh, if you remember Jonathan Ogden, I mean, Jonathan Ogden was six foot nine. He went to UCLA. He was a top five pick. That dude weighed 325 in college and played at about 345 in the NFL. You can't be 6'8, 290. What Mike McGlinchey has turned into is a guy who was, he was always kind of stiff and mechanical and slow in pass protection. So he struggled against speed, but now he struggles against power too. He can't block speed or power in pass protection. Still a good run blocker. I'm sorry. It's 2021. You can't have the, the run blocker only offensive tackle. You need a guy who could, who's serviceable in pass protection. And that's what you were expecting when you took that dude with the ninth pick. You weren't like, oh, he's only he's only a run blocker. Now nah, you take that. That's Colton McKivitz, not Mike McGlinchey. So I don't think he is salvageable unless this dude can get up to 325. And I don't I look at him as a guy who, when he retires, is going to be 220 pounds in like a week or three. And that's, I think he has trouble keeping weight on in the days of him. If he ever was 6'8", 315, 325, it's over. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it, prove me wrong, Mike. You need to gain 35 pounds of muscle or something pretty freaking yeah. quick. And Grant, one more thing that you just added about how you don't draft a tackle who only excels as a run blocker top 10. Not only that, a right tackle period shouldn't really go in the top 10. You should be able to play left tackle at some point. It's funny because last exactly. year I remember I remember writing about how Mike McGlinchey needs to be able to move to left tackle for this pick to be called successful for John no Lynch question. because right tackle going top 10. And now it's not even a question anymore. It was that yeah. bad of a pick now where if Trent Williams walks and Joe Staley last year, if they weren't able to get Trent Williams, there's a huge puzzle piece missing at left tackle because your ninth overall pick in 2018 couldn't transition to left tackle like everybody was hoping he could, like I'm sure the 49ers were expecting. Of this. course, like honestly, they should have their tackles. It should be McGlinchey on the left and Brunskill on the right, but they can't do that because yep. of McGlinchey. Yeah, absolutely. Maitland Eagle is snitching. He says, I've seen McGlinchey <laughs> hanging around Napa and Sonoma Valley wine tasting instead of working on his game. Dang, Maitland, you snitched on him. Well, I, I can't mm. confirm or deny, but it's interesting to note, Mike, Save that wine tasting until after you retire. You need to put on 35. I mean, wine will do it, but, you know, in and out burger will do it too. Ice cream will do it too. There's Watch Tristan Wirth's Instagram. He just documents his eating every day. All right, I saw that. It's impressive. Yeah.